welcome back to another Building Chic weekly segment. Um, so guys, this week is uh, pretty good progress and I got something very special uh, special for you guys, which is a time lapse. And I know a lot of you have been requesting for that for quite a while now. And um, it's the least I can do for skipping a week uh, because I was so busy, but um, got a great time lapse for you guys and um, a lot of cool video content. Didn't get as much as I wanted to do this week uh, done, but, you know, because I was still working on some of the reviews, I still am, actually. Um, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but anyhow, let's get right into it so you can see what I have done. Let's go. All right, guys. So last week, uh, actually the week before, uh, since we took a week off, but anyhow. Uh, so a lot of you were really asking for another time lapse, and so you asked, I give. Uh, so what we're gonna do, guys, is I've already sort of started um, on continuing on the wall, but not too much. Uh, well, actually, a decent amount. But anyhow, the goal I'm gonna try to do is get the wall up to this point, all the way down, and we may actually get a little higher than that, depending on how fast I work. Uh, so we're gonna do a time lapse within an hour maybe two hours uh, long and if it cuts off then it cuts off anyhow uh, let's just get right into it I'll uh, just yeah let's put the camera on the tripod and just line up this stuff let's take a nice zoom in there and everything so anyhow enjoy the time lapse everybody I think you'll all very much enjoy it as I build a wall and trust me it's it looks like it would be an easy task. It really is not as easy as it looks. So here we go. Alright guys, so um, taking a break on the wall, but pretty much did exactly what I wanted to do, which was get up to this height right here and go all the way across. So yeah, it's looking pretty darn good if you ask me. Um, really liking the look of it. 
looking very good. Now, like I told you guys, it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up, 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 up. And then pretty much like right after this, this is, well, maybe a little bit more for here, but right here, it'll start sloping this way. It'll go back this way. So if, if you're wondering, oh, why is it going like straight up like that? Well, it's gonna about, it's gonna curve back out like, like this. And uh, we'll probably get to that next week. Uh, definitely get it actually done by next week, this part of the wall. And then we'll get over to that section over there. But anyhow, um, as you can see, it took a long time to uh, to do this. Um, I think a little over, almost two hours. Um, but yeah, so very interesting. But uh, yeah, so that's if you're wondering, that's what the backside looks like. Not so pretty, but um, that is just what it looks like. <laughs> It'll be covered up uh, later. But anyhow. I'm going to keep on working on some other stuff, so we'll take a look at uh, at some other things that will be going right behind here. Alright guys, so moving on, and what I have here is the expanded Kashyyyk wall. So I went ahead and started building it upwards, and I think it's actually looking kind of cool if you ask me. I'm sure some of you are like, whoa, why is it so like messy and, and like this and kind of like I don't know, weird looking, but I kind of like that look. It's got a, I don't know, best word for it, suited for it, but like dirty, kind of kind of messy look. Um, I know the Wookiees are excellent craftsmen, um, but I feel like the uh, the wall, this type of wall, I, I don't know, for some reason I feel like it would be, you know, kind of what they could scramble up fast because of the droid army really approaching. They didn't have much time to really craft a nice wall, but... I, um, I don't know. I kind of like the the look of this. Um, I don't know. Just just something about it I like, and so I think I'll continue building it upwards. And once I get it up, I'll make a you know uh, it'll have a platform going across here. And then I'm gonna actually came up with this little design using these things and uh, see these slope things right here. Um, got a lot of these and so what I'm going to do is kind of use this as a top barrier and they'll kind of go, ar uh, go around like this. I think a lot of you are going to like it because I think it, it's going to look really cool. Tr uh, trust me on that. Um, so yeah, I'll take like uh, plates and be like bam, 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 all the way across. The wall will probably come up to probably about there. I don't know, something like that. But uh, this is about as big as, this is the length I've got it to and I think this is perfect length I think it looks really well works extremely well with the back look and flows into the beach really nice so I, I really like the look of it and uh, you know you, you let me know on, on your guys opinion you know if you really don't like it let me know but I, I'm pretty set on on this wall design I kind of really like it something about it and, you know if I, I just build straight up you know just build it straight up and not have anything going on, no patterns or detail or anything, then it just looks really boring. And I, I don't know, I, I like this. It gives a much more textured feel, I guess you could say, on the outside of the wall. I don't know. Some, something about it kind of looks cool to me. Um, but yeah. So, already covered the wall. Like I said, it's definitely um, almost done. We just got to go up to this point right here. So not too much more to get to that and then once we done we're done with getting up to the height of that um we'll move on to that side and then we'll have to focus on the back um so yeah anyhow we'll just go ahead and move on from here so speaking of the back um i've already started kind of you can see it's not very pretty right here but <laughs> anyhow i've already started uh those these platform ideas you know the command comm center bunks and all that stuff that'll go all the way along here. I've already started kind of building something. I'm not extremely satisfied with how this floor looks. I don't, I'm not going to probably go with it, but it's just temporary. I'll come up with a better design. I'm, I'm kind of on the idea of doing a snot technique, which snot is studs not on top is what that stands for. And what that means is basically bricks, but sideways. Um, so I don't really have a great example right next to me, but just imagine this, you know, stacked upwards, right? Well, imagine it just flat against these studs. That is what I'm talking about. Now, I do like this design right here. I came up with 
this. Now, ignore the fact that you can kind of see that and that there. That's just what's holding this uh, this plate in. Is that it'll be all white there, and you won't notice any of that. Trust me, uh, I already have these things that'll that are connecting this. That'll be fixed once I get the parts. But I really like the wall design that I have here, so I think I'll continue that all the way down. Uh, words, I don't know. Let me know if uh, you guys like that. I think it looks pretty cool. You got the white behind uh, the mesh right here. Looks good to me. But I went ahead and built a little mini, little, com, uh, little you know, comm center thing. You know, there's gonna be multiples, like lots of them all the way down. Um, at least on the first floor. Like I said, there's gonna be multiple floors. Probably, my guess is two floors. Um, if we do three, then you're just squishing it. I want to be able to get my hands in and play around with stuff. Um, but I'm going to have this wall design go down. But also, you know, I feel like having, you have the comm center, right? And then in the middle, like right here, you know, you'll have the comm centers like right here, the command centers here and right here. And then in the middle is like, like where the commanders stand. And like, there's a giant like TV screen, like right here. I, I like that idea. Like they can watch what's going outside of the battle over here. Um, they can be like, all right, we need to fire this cannon, and so these clone troopers can do that. Or then, you know, I just think it's kind of a neat little thing. Um, I'm gonna need to be since since now we're starting to work on the interior as well. I need to start ordering lights. Um, I think I'm gonna go with life lights is probably the best idea. But uh, I need to start ordering those so I can wire those up as I start building these floors. So. Need to make some orders, definitely. But anyhow, looking at this little, little comm center, I'm sure some of you are wondering how it's built. It's fairly simple, actually. This is all it is. A bunch of uh, control panels I just found around my room. A couple bricks. Um, yeah, looks pretty good to me, actually. You know, if you're ever looking for these types of pieces, just look inside your Star Wars ships. They're extremely easy to find that way. Um, and I, right here is just a little... Um, like the, you know, little joysticks and stuff like that. And if you're wondering, put Mr. Clone Trooper in here. So he fits in, but he looks like he's almost about to bang his mask on the control panel. But don't worry, we're not actually going to be using Clone Troopers um, for these dudes who are going to be sitting in these seats. I have custom um, cl uh, dudes that are going to be in there, and they're not going to have a helmet. So without their helmet, they seem reasonably far away from the control panel enough to see everything at least but yeah so I thought it was a pretty neat design I'll definitely keep it and use it later as I, like I said the floor as I'm gonna it's a work in progress I'm gonna figure something out in the next week or so but I really like the wall design and I like this little control panel um, like the way that's looking um, because it's gonna be it um, bit of a not too too much you know we got the parts of the wall done got Kashyyyk wall going and started working back here so some pretty good progress um, but next week I should get a little more done than I did this week um, only reason this week is like I said I was still finishing up on a lot of the reviews that still haven't even been uploaded yet but um, I don't really have too many excuses I should really be giving anyhow let's go ahead and finish up the video guys thank you very much for watching and let's go all right guys hope you enjoyed that you know cool time lapse got to see the Kashyyyk wall and gotten the comm center like the interior start starting um you know to work on it still a lot more to work uh do on that part um you know like i said i want to work on the floor get it looking kind of nice and whatnot uh still a lot of work to do there but i have some ideas and um i think they're gonna look pretty cool once i get them going but uh, this is gonna take some time but uh yeah anyhow so by next week I should do a lot more. Um, I am officially done with school, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. A lot more free time in my hands. Um, but yeah, so a lot more free time, so that means stuff should start going a lot faster, I should say. Um, so that'll be really exciting. And uh, next year my school is, uh, I, I'm pretty much, my the way my school is gonna work is, is not like your normal school schedule. It's, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more free time, I should say that. Um, but anyhow, that's a while away. Uh, I got a good three months of summer, so we're gonna definitely push for a lot of building this summer. Look forward to it. You know, hopefully next month. Goal is to have um, all of the wall mountains built and finish the Kashyyyk tree. Um, I'm ordering the plant parts for that now, actually. So those will be coming in here in the next couple weeks. Um, 
as well as get the uh, you know that that interior behind the mountains done, and then start building up the next part of the mountains. Um, and then once we get the mountains done, who knows when that'll be? Hopefully soonish. Um, then we can just focus on the interior. And then after we do the interior, and I'm explaining. A lot of you have been asking um, what my kind of goal in the in the future is, and after we get into the interior and start building that up, then we'll actually go back to the mountains, the top mountains, and we'll uh, put on the, there's a part of it where there's actually gonna be like a top, like an actual fully cover the entire thing, which will be interesting. Um, and that'll be made, and then we got an elevator to make, just, there's a lot more to work than a lot of you have been thinking of, trust me. A lot of you are like, what's taking so long, all this stuff? Well, guys, the amount of work that's still left on this and you know, so much more to, to work on is a lot. But now that I have summer, you know, what might take me six months to do is only going to take me three months to do. So I should be able to do twice the amount of work in uh, twice the amount of time. Um, so that's very exciting. So next couple of weeks uh, and yeah, actually the next weeks in the summer will definitely be very interesting and I definitely recommend that you watch them because we're going to do some really cool stuff and I want you guys to be there for it. But the guys, that's going to do it for this week's segment. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe. That always helps. Um, got a got a big goal of 100,000 subscribers getting to and um, I've got a project that I'm working on right now that, uh, that has to do with once I get to 100,000 subscribers and I think you guys are gonna really like it. And it has nothing to do with building Kashyyyk, has nothing to do with reviews or any of that stuff. It's uh, it's something you probably wouldn't see coming. Anyhow guys, thank you very much for watching. Also, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, you learned something, you saw a cool time lapse, whatever the case was, you enjoyed it, then give it a big thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in next week's segment. Bye-bye.